Come with us on our latest adventure to the upper Mustang region in Nepal. Isolated and breathtaking landscapes with scary narrow tracks that hug mountain cliffs, river valleys, and high plateaus all steeped in Tibetan culture made the upper Mustang one of the best adventures we've undertaken. To get to the upper Mustang, we flew to Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, to Pokhara, and then on to Jamsam, where we started our trek. From Jamsam, we headed north to Kagbeni, the official start of the Upper Mustang. The next day, on to Chaosang Village. From Chaosang, it took us nine hours to arrive at Tangay. The next morning, we started out for Yara. Our last day on horseback, we made our way to the walled city of Lomantang. We explored Lomantang for two days, followed up by a jeep ride to Chaucer to visit an ancient monastery and the famous caves. It's now time to take the two-day jeep ride back to Jamsam with a lay overnight in Tyang village. Here are some of the highlights of our adventure. So good. You alright? Yeah, it's gonna be a long week. <laughs> That's why I was doing stretches. I'm gonna walk a little bit. The Mustang is one of the last bastions of undisturbed Tibetan culture. With the opening of the road transportation, power lines, and internet to Lomantang, the lives of the people here are being impacted. However, despite these enrichments to the local inhabitants, the culture is still strong. Many of the deteriorating monasteries have been rebuilt along with a rejuvenating study in the Buddhist ways. 
No, it's glory. For me, mountains are the most special place on earth. When I go to the mountains, I find a peace and a stillness around me. The spectacular beauty that surrounds me takes my breath away and lets me know how incredibly blessed my life is. Add in Buddhist prayer wheels, prayer flags, and incense, and I have found serenity. When is my horse is empty? Namaste. People we encounter on these Nepal treks have been the kindest and most hardworking people I have ever seen. They always smile and offer a kind namaste greeting as they pass you. We were pleasantly surprised that despite the encroachment of the stony Jeep track, the charm and the mystical ambiance of the Mustang seemed to be intact. This is a result in large part to the Nepal Department of Immigration requiring visitors to obtain a $500 special access permit good for 10 days. These strict controls are in place in order to protect local traditions from outside influence, as well as to protect the environment. For me, this trip is all about getting to experience one of the world's best hikes before the relentless advancement of time steps on to its original beauty. The glaciers on top of Kilimanjaro are melting so fast that Tanzania is looking to put in a cable car. Everest is moving the base camp to Gorik Shep, and the upper Mustang is just now completing the final bridges of the fully blown track from the Nepalese Himalayas to Tibet. No, I can get off. No, no, no. This is the route less taken, allowing us to avoid the gravel road that scars the landscape. Our payoff is an unfathomable remoteness with breathtaking views of eroded cliffs and hidden caves in those spectacular Himalayan mountains, all with less dust. We are making our way from Jansum north to Lomantang. 
This area is generally referred to as the Upper Mustang, pronounced Mustang. Though no longer the Forbidden or Lost Kingdom, the area has been open to roughly 2,000 visitors a year since 1992. I had no idea it was going to be this hard. I thought that first hill was crazy. And then the second hill was nuts. And then the third one was unbelievable. Once we reached the trailhead in Chaosang, each day held lots of suspense with extremely narrow ledges and scary drop-offs. We just had to trust our horses' steady footfalls.
we had a quick doll bot lunch here in day before moving on. The overall atmosphere in Yara made it our favorite village. We stopped in this village for some lemon tea before the next big climb. Great job. We chose to do our upper Mustang circuit in a counterclockwise direction. As a result, we didn't pass anyone on day one. Day two, we passed a single hiker, and day three, we did pass a larger group of hikers and some pack horses. We made the right choice, as it seemed we had the trek almost to ourselves. Lomantang, the capital of the Mustang, is the best preserved medieval walled city in the world. There you go, Dar. This way. Yeah. Thank you, my friend.
Wes wanted to jeep to Pillar 24 at the China border. Unfortunately, each vehicle is inspected and screened at the checkpoint. Because we weren't Nepalese, we were told to turn around. Naifu Monastery now has many active students that live and meditate in the cave retreat. Our prayer flags were blessed in the monastery by a lama and then were put in place by Tilak and Samip. The Jong Cave is the main attraction north of Lomantang. These caves provided a secure home against weather and bandits for the early Tibetans. Everyone knows there is a trade-off between the arrival of vehicles on the precarious all-season road and the complexity it bestows on preserving the richness of history and culture of the Upper Mustang. Let's hope a suitable balance can be struck.